Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to episode 5 of our Mao Ying Let's Play. We continue from turn 10. And as you can see, we had another really tough fight outside of Terracotta Graveyard last time. We ended by taking out, well not entirely taking out, but beating back uh, the faction here, the Warriors of Chaos, the Dreaded Wu. Uh, they're the one who bursted open the Dragon Gate. They have a faction outside. And uh, we have temporarily pushed them back. It took a lot of manpower, but we did it. And we can still recruit here. We actually have access to very nice Jade Warriors. And I think we'll just simply recruit them. But first things first, Trugadao needs to move. Trugadao needs to rush his way towards uh, Poor May here. We are going to be a little bit concerned about their advancement. I might have to actually fight them again to make sure that they're on March so we can chase them down and wipe them out. Uh, just to make sure that Drogodon has a clean access over here. If there is some other army here and we get caught out and Drogodon dies, it'll be very sad, but uh, it's worth the risk. Because we're in a race with them. A fellow uh, new faction here. Oh, we can trade with them, can't we? Hold on. New faction, right. Nope. Not willing to trade with us. They're actually in a war against the Loyalist. The Custodians versus the Loyalist. Interesting. Okay, so no diplomacy. That's fine. I'll be more disappointed if we could trade and we didn't trade. Uh, our army's really thin, so I can understand why no one wants to do a deal with us. Uh, you can also see the corruption's gone. It's almost all gone. And the land's returned. We have farmland here now. This is going to be great. Um, Favored daughter. Let's wipe them out and try to hit that level 12. Might of the storm. No army here, no army here, no army here. Uh, it's a small army. A small army. Um, I don't want to lose units, so we're going to fight this one on the field. Yeah, and we can also use our ability to heal up our single entities. Shouldn't be too bad. They have a lot of really fast units, so we're going to get hit by the flanks, but... Um, I'm okay with losing a couple archers. We're about to upgrade, go to that Jade Crosswoman status with actually good armor. So I'm looking forward to that. And these spearmen can also die because we're ready to go for the Jade Warriors. Alright, um, I'm just not going to channel. A little buffer is interesting. I can hug technically a wall and prevent a lot of the flanking potential. Let's try to do that. Uh, probably not that high up. This is fine. That way we hit this entire gap. There's really not a lot of units left. We are spent. Back to back, really gruesome fights against Zinch and then Warriors of Chaos. Oh, well, we're gonna cover one flank and then the other. We're gonna shift them over after the battle starts. Single entity pile up to heal together. And we're good to go. They could still flank all the way around, but that's, you know, a situation that we can deal with when that happens. Faithful. Master of Tempest. Give us our last point. Might of Alright, three of them will have a great time oh, healing up. How are we doing with these shots here? That little ridge can't help. That's not too bad. I can accept that. Now that I know the ammo situation is separately counted, I'm not going to stress out too much about shooting this early. Although I still suspect if we run out of shots, we still can't fire the crane gunner, so we still want to keep at least one. Wait, switch targets. I think once they hit this ridge, it's hard to hit them. And then we're going to halt for a little bit. Feels like they're all shifting that way. 
You can tilt. Oh. Sneaky guys are coming back around. Guided by ancestors. Attack in unison. That was a great shot. One more over here and then we're gonna switch target. Yeah, the tree is gonna provide too much coverage. We're gonna heal when they make contact. That way the life bloom, the 1% heal, will be applied to all the units as well because they'll take some damage. Get ready. I, stand ready. I could just halt this group. Wind and fire. Celestial fury. All right, just occupy them instead of getting flanked. A lot better off that way. For the defense. Oh, those cavalries are coming fast. I mean, I don't mind them getting hit. Not too bad. Oh, they have that range component, right? It takes them a while to actually make contact. It's not a lot of good targets now. Everyone's like super low. Yeah, no one's really a threat at this point. They're gonna expire soon. Right, we'll hit that. Mm, not gonna use that. Do you have the three aerial bombs? All right, that expired. We'll bomb him. Why not? We have four ammos left. We might not get a shot here. He might get the charge off before we... Well, he backed off. In harmony. Behold the tempest. I mean, they, they don't have a chance. We're good. Time to start spinning. Hmm. They're not firing, actually. That's interesting. Oh, forgot to turn that on. I still don't see the crane gunner shooting. There we go, finally. All right, super clean, got the heals. Exactly what we wanted. They're wiped. We'll go down safe for a little bit. There's still another dreaded Wu army around the Dragon Gate. We'll clean that out as well. Maybe not this turn, but we'll approach them. Ooh, standard of discipline. Assigned unit gets seven points of leadership. Not that useful. I will actually... Ooh, this is tough. I don't want to lose the 5% replenishment this turn, so I think we'll just go for this. The evil Say goodbye to the treasure. We picked up a trait. Assured Assailant. Achieve victory from multiple battles. Aurora size goes up. Leadership goes up when attacking. It's okay. We didn't hit rank 12, so I'm a little sad about that. Storm Feels like we picked up an item and we equipped it. It's a follower. Oh, it's a banner, right? Um, I mean, sure. We're not unbreakable, so we could use it. Storm Our Astromancer Dragon. picked up a rank. What do we want him to have? Well, 
We could get the overcast capability as well as the cooldown reduction, but it's not going to help us that much because right now all the winds of magic we have is reserved for Melium. We are being embedded. We could get the additional magic item drop percentage. We could just also start advancing our skills and pick up some better spells, maybe some passive ones when casting. I mean, Lore of Heaven is really good. We could also give him a horse or wait for the Wuxing War Compass. Oh, I don't really care for this. This is not the Wind Blast. This is the Harmonic. Wind Blast is over here. Yeah, actually, we, we could use some spells. Like, this is fine. Can we reach him? We saw upon triumphant wings. Oh, we're apps. This is the march distance. Okay. I mean, it doesn't look like a scary army, but it definitely can attack Druga down here. Magistrate. That is slightly concerning. When I want asks, to recruit, you answer. but we're no longer in the right overlapping provinces because I he's not here so we don't recruit this turn we actually march and body block all hesitation. We body block for to go down acceptable indeed Ooh. i'm curious if they will fix the gate or go after the army me not beyond your he could still bypass me but magistrate. he could also Lord. go for this i hope he destroys that that's what we really want him to do all right, on the side, is it just Melian? Not, not just Melian. Our caravan. Great. So the battle we fought, he ranked up. We previously got one point in Wayfounders for the ambush reduction. I think at this point, we try to sell our cargo for better value, which is more efficient for us than increasing cargo capacity, because that means we have to pay extra. This means whatever we pay is more efficient. A tool of great efficiency. Efficient, like I said. This will be a couple more turns till we can switch directions. This is going to fill up. Uh, it's two point per turn, actually. Wow, it's going to be maxed out. Going to be a couple waste, and then we're going to switch over probably to the Great Bastion to recruit cheaply, right? 10% discount, which means it'd be perfect for what we need when we recruit our Jade uh, Warriors very soon. We'll also get the Commandment by that time, so that's also great. I'm gonna skip the points. Okay. I'm fairly certain we don't need this to be level 3 yet. I feel like this should pick up the growth right now. So no to outpost, and I think we're good. We check diplomacy, there's nothing we can do. We're just not strong enough. We need a full stack. We don't even have a full stack right now. Understandable. I mean, he can't beat anything, so he can hang out here. It's just whether Drogodown get hit by him, and then we have to fight. We can summon the unit, so it's not the end of the world, except for he's just not that strong. Okay, for safety reasons, we're going to take back... The item. He doesn't need the 7% now. I don't want him to lose it in case he gets hit and he actually dies. I'll take that. So we have a slot. Sword of Might, 8% strength, 10% strength. Let's go for that. He's not on the road. He is. I actually want you to have magic attack plus fear and terror. You can pick up the 8% for now. I could give it to them. It'd be interesting if I can use the caravan, just like have them perfectly placed to give me the plus three rank. I doubt that can happen though. But I think this is all. Please kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Nope, didn't happen. Uh, decisive defeat, we cannot run away. This was the concern. We can summon a unit. Are we stronger than him? I think, like, if we can beat him one-on-one, -on -one, we have better stats. 
there's a hidden stat boost, 10%, right, melee, 58, 54. I think we can still maybe win here. This is just rough. I mean, we asked for it by marching. I mean, there's a chance he doesn't die, I think. I think he becomes wounded, he comes back in five turns. We mess up our Inyang synergies because he'd be off the field. And currently there's that bug with the supply line being active even if your general is no longer on the field. That's also a concern. Board to command. Hmm. I mean, we need distance first. We wait for this 45 seconds. An advantageous position. We have a way to boost our melee defense pretty high. We have a way to boost our damage pretty high, but we don't want to be fighting three sets of units. I will claim it. Set him forth. I think it's better if we are hugging like a wall, that way we minimize how much of a surround he can cause on us. There's no range on that side, so that doesn't really matter. Our summon is up. Is there a really good terrain? Like, maybe this choke. We fought here before, right? We can fight here again. Now we're going to speed this up. I mean, this is when the empty fort strategy goes wrong for Drugoda, and they actually come fight us. They only sent one unit. The question is, do I summon for one unit? Which should be no. Give us a second. No mind sharper. Seeking advantage. I think I want high ground. Without fail. An advantageous position! Advantageous position? That's exactly what we're looking for. The dragons come on, fight us. I will claim I'm, I'm, I'm tempt him to come. So I want to beat him up. And then I'll only summon with a second unit collapse with them. I'm going to solo them first. They have double my health. But their melee defense is crap. Their melee attack is crap. If I boost my melee defense by 40 points, I think I'm untouch- uh, I'm not untouchable, but um, I am untouchable. He only has 34 plus 35 base. Right, fight. I can't use that because it's not- I gotta target something, right? Can't target myself. Can I not target myself? Invalid target, yep. I can target myself here, but can't get this unless I summon. That's fine. This is fine. This is this is fine. We're gonna wait till they show up, and then we're gonna summon. Their melee attack is actually dipped down a bit. Why are we fighting all the way inside? All right, all right we need this now. I think high ground charge down on them rather than like this would be a flank. Come on. They turned out really, really fast. All right, give them a huge boost. Already lost a huge chunk of our health. It's not looking great. I don't want to get charged. Can we pull out of this fight and let just let them take the fight? That way we preserve some health for the final boss fight. Although I wonder if they're going to get army lost on. Come on, come on. They're shaking. Rout them. Maybe you should have got the Shrieker Blade. 
Oh, they have an army ability? Oh no, that was our glittering scale. Oh, we're decreasing their melee defense. No, there's army ability. Magic attack, cause terror leader. That's fine. Oh no, it expired. Cooldown's going down. Fight, fight to the death. Oh, we just routed? Okay. Guess the damage went enough to lose leadership. We didn't die. He could probably chase us though, that's the annoying thing. We did well, we did well. We killed 91 people. And we're still on the field, right? No, we're not. The Inyang value is gonna be messed up. We lost the glittering scale. It's a common item, it's fine. Drogodown's actually dead. It's okay, we'll name someone else as Drogodown. It's fine. The caravan's complete. We got sold the cargo good. We should also get an item here in the Shatterstone Bay. The Sky Titan Relic. Research rate plus 20. Ooh, awesome. We are no longer in harmony. Three points. We're gonna fix that. Our income's going to be in a bad situation. I really want this land. I will make I'm willing to pay up a lot of attrition to grab it. Acceptable. 600. It has the honor yeah, everyone's injured. The province is secured. We're going to go for... The Majestic Defender. The recruitment cost discount plus the extra recruitment capacity. We're gonna fix this up. Let's see. I oh, we're gonna cancel that for now because uh, we can get 20% discount on that if we just summon a single general, which we're gonna summon here because we want to take this gate afterward. They didn't fix it, did they? They did. They just didn't build it yet. That's fine. I don't need to capture that. Then maybe the general doesn't need to be here. Hmm. No! He's annoying. I could summon someone here, or I could... No, I want to summon someone now, I think. We're going to have a new Drew go down. A tactician. No. Upright. I don't like these. Maybe we splurge and get a dragon blooded. That way, Drogodon is sleeping dragon, dragon blooded, but then he wouldn't be riding his little um, Sky Lantern. That was the cool part. Yeah, I think maybe we just go with a tactician. Yeah, let's go with a new version of Drugo down here. I shall restore order. I'm gonna just change your name. Don't worry. We'll love you the same. And hopefully this one will not die. Alright, so that's fixed. Now we get our lovely 20% discount. And we're going to first use that to rebuild. And then we have one slot here. Okay, and one slot here. But this one's not going to have any Eon values. I'm not going to be... I'm going to build one of these... Not the supplies. Upkeep of local armies. Not really important right now. Less attrition if we go outside. That's actually pretty key. Because... The land is not favorable for us. We'll actually suffer attrition. So we actually need that building if we want to move north. Local recruitment. It would be helpful once we pick up this, the terracotta 
which I guess would be here. Don't care about that. Don't really care about this. Yeah, the Terracotta is actually on the building here. We'll get the upgrade. We'll get the upgrade. And then we're going to get the Trishan building. It's quite a bit of money spent there, but that's fine. Mines of Nayang. So one slot in Nayang. One slot in the shrine. And one slot in Venchang. That's good news, because we have three slots to play with. This could use an in building. And now we need a yang building. Oh, there's resources here, but I think we want the balance. Unless no, that's not that's not time. It's one turn off. So we're gonna go with the yang building here. And then we're also gonna upgrade it because there's more interesting buildings in this place, and we want that. Upgrade's fine. And now it's neutral, so I can go for the hunting camp here. Actually, I changed my mind. Fifty plus twenty. Fifty plus twenty. Okay, I, I'm changing my mind because of a couple of things. One, I don't own this whole province, and two, if I lose this building, I want this to be Yang neutral. So I'm going to build the Yang building here. It's more likely that I lose that than I lose the buildings over here. Okay, so one Yin, one Yang, we will we still be balanced. Everything has been built. She's still not 12. Oh, she's 12. Let's grab it all. So Aurora of Majesty, or the hex around her against enemy lord or hero, so for dueling. We want diplomatic relations with other Cathay factions for easy confederation, especially on harder difficulty. The corruption's really good, the control's really good. I'm gonna pass on this. I'd rather spend the money and make more money and, and spend it at the building rather than get the discount for all the buildings, even though there's tons of building that we just built and that would have saved us a lot of cash. It's just not worth saving the cash in my opinion. This is questionable, but the cooldown is definitely helpful. The reduction of cost Unfortunately, it's all to overcasting, right? It's all upgraded versions, so not what we're doing right now. This is super useful. We could use this, right? We're fighting Norse Chaos, we're fighting Warrior Chaos, we're fighting Demons of Chaos all the time. Range, we want reload speed, we want Eye of the Storm, which is going to boost us when we're in dragon form for damage and melee attack. Now, this one point here, I think... We will take this, because where else are we going to put it? Maybe Inspiring Presence, and then we can start picking up things for the Jade Warrior and for the Jade Warrior Crossbowman. And then that leads to Rally, which could be useful. Like, I don't need this cooldown. I don't have a lot of Wind of Magic right now, right? There's not enough Winds of Magic that we can use. I think we take the experience booster and start picking up upgrades for our units. Sure aim first for the extra range on the future Jade Warrior Crossbowman. A tool fit for the dragon's daughter. Wait, caravan leveled up? Oh, he finished the route, right. That means we can send the other caravan as well. Another 15% chance of reducing ambushes. Is that worth or is another like the, the rate of increase, right? Diminishing returns here versus this. But we have two points, so why am I even worried? An upper hand, indeed. Uh, indeed, indeed. Um Don't want that. We can dispatch one. He's on his way back, so we're rotating to the other one. Gonna fill him up. Let's see where we're going. We already cleared that route. Ready, clear. No, we have not gone there yet. Have we? I don't remember now. I Okay, I know we did this. I wish they marked that we've been there. That would be great. I mean, this is seven turns. I think we did a five turn one. Yeah, we did the five turn one. Right, so this is different. 
Seven turns for 3.4. Nine turns. I mean, I know, like, look at where we're going, right? Altdorf, Castle Draconoff. I know we get a sword there, right? We get one of the Van Karstein swords, which is actually pretty powerful. Marenburg, that's a port city all the way down there. That's really, really far. And turn nine turn. I'm, I'm gonna take the seven turn though. That's the shortest one where I haven't been. Sounds good. All right, that should be all. One thing though, I changed my mind on this as well because I want this to be upgraded to pick up Jade Crossbowmans. Our new Drugardown. We didn't lose the Jade Sculpture. Oh, we did lose it. Oof. We we lost a lot of item there on our other Drugardown there. Research rate, research rate. He's gonna stay with Mel Ying, so that should be safe. Because I don't want to lose that item. At least we moved the movement item onto Mel Ying before our Drugodown died, so that's good. Cafe He's on his way, so giving him items is good. He's on his way back. There must be order. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're actually happy with where we are. We got that 20 point extra, so everyone should be trending up, but not immediately. But hopefully we can trade with the Jade Custodians soon, trending towards 15. Okay, I think we're good. Let's continue. A bit messy, but in the end, I think we came out all right. Balance. Storm Dragon, the defense effort has need. Why only three? Are we not in the same province? We're not. City command. Feet of fire. Now From we are. Here, we shall plan. He's not fine. As long as we stand in a garrison. The celestial. Right, yeah. they got the gate. Ooh, he's going. My privilege. Wipe them out. Please do. I don't want to step Ready into to the outside world there. For me is an honor. That's what we want to see. All right, we want six of these guys. Serve me. Serve the emperor. And we'll let them heal, even though I think we might end up combining a few. I stand apart. All right, we got ourselves a slot. Sawyer from Marble. Okay. Um, what do we want to do here? In Yang, we're about to get another. Young, so we could just put it in here, and that would be perfect. Upgrade a little bit. Like I don't really need this building right now. I feel like it's money that we don't have to spend. This is something we have to spend. Ooh. Rebel army. I see a rebel army. I see a rebel army. Um, one more slot here. Both of them have great buildings. There's a landmark here eventually. That's actually pretty good. But I think we actually go for this first. Which is kind of weird because we're not going for a main building. We're going to move yeah. first. Because I see this threat right here. Then he actually might get taken, but it's balanced. If we lose it, it's not going to affect the big picture. It's just a little bit unfortunate that that might be lost, but we have taken care of the north. Seems like all three gates are fine. All invasion has been pushed out. Zinch is gone. Corruption's gone. Storm Dragon. Just want to try to move as far as we can. None and then this is the same. No to outpost. Oh, the, the 
Celestial. It's running Celestial. the correct way. Cafe. Natural author. You may express reverence now. Do we want to maybe offer this war? Feels like it's not going to be a problem for us. We have no idea where they are. Not enough. How much to, like, in terms of payment? 2k to secure a 77 per turn deal. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, actually. <laughs> we'll wait till the value trends higher, right? It's going to be positive. That's going to be a big jump, I think, going from negative to positive. Alright, wish us luck here. It's probably going to be a tough fight. Do you seek the storm dragon's wisdom or strength? Why don't just call me sister? They want me to pay for military access. Why don't we just wait, brother? Yeah, we're going to 84. Let's just wait. It's just a siege. That's the good news. We have a hero behind. Foundation stone. Uh, Yu Tang Nan, uh, Nanmen. That she's our astromancer. A trader from the Ivory Road respectfully begs to barter with you. She has what she claims is the very first brick laid in the Great Bastion, stolen away early in construction and only now on Earth. Truly, this is an object of ancient and sacred power. Though we return the brick to the Bastion, he gains selfless leader trait. So whoever this astromancer is, we get plus three control. Or we can extort the trader. It's heresy for a mere merchant to claim ownership of an artifact infused with the Emperor's celestial magic. You will, however, look the other way if sufficient. Re <laughs> so basically, we pick up money and then we lose three leadership. Well, I don't need the 2000. I don't want the bad trait. Return the brick. Ply the trader with whatever luxuries we have of uh, have an excess of. It's Imperative, this enchanted stone is restored to its rightful place, at least its absence one day enables the great enemy to topple the bastion. It's also funny that he's triggering the event, even though he's not in the caravan. He's with, you know, Melian right now. The brick stories are interesting because, uh, I mean, great bastion obviously represent the great wall. And if you're looking at the Great Wall, the earliest ones, uh, Great Walls built during every single Chinese dynasty. We're still in harmony, by the way, because we matched everything. We could flip directions. I think we will, just because I don't need the income boost. We're already full, so we can take advantage of like three, four turns of getting passive growth. We're recruiting right now, so this is going to be more useful. So we're going to flip. Also reduce that threat level a little bit. In death you shall be forgotten. Favored daughter. We're gonna crush him. Oh, but the recruitment will end because it'll be global. I can't pick up any more. We'll take three right now, and that's fine. I don't want him to raid us anymore. Alright, he's gonna run out. That's fine. You must die for your betrayal. There's no one I want to recruit, right? Unless we want to fill our roster with three more beasts. I can only recruit two. We'll take two. We now have Celestial Intervention. It's a very good bombardment spell, actually. It's from the new switching of the Wusing Compass. We're, I think he should go to the wall. That's Drugodon's job. Ready to defend. I mean, if he takes the fight this turn, or if he doesn't take the fight this turn, we will be there on March next turn. Hmm. I want this, so we'll start working on it. We must remain superior. Oh, no buildings, huh? Everything's waiting for the upgrade. I could build this, but like I said, I don't think we need to use this money. Not useful right now. I shall administer the Emperor's wrath. I think we're good. 
Child of the night. It did change quite a bit. May your ancestors I think you. this is going to be... Uh, I dropped a little. I thought it was going to be 1.7. Mm. Still not worth it. Celestial ancestors. We just have to wait. Let's see if they take the fight. Nope. I think their turn already passed. Good. We got ambushed by a different Ogre Kingdom army set up this time. A Maneater, which is actually a pretty strong unit. And then a bunch of Nobblers, a Slaughtermaster of the Great Maul type. We're going to fight them off. Your scouts have discovered a bandit force preparing an ambush. There is an alternative route, but it will add days to the, days to the journey. Or perhaps without elements of surprise, the element can be beaten. Yes, of course it can. This is a more balanced army, uh, a lot of infantry, but uh, we do have one anti-large, oh, actually three, and we can fight them off. Close victory, we can do better. This army will not have the intervention because they're not in Grand Cafe land. Ooh, a choke point battle. But yeah, you have to be standing inside Grand Cafe to use that. The Emperor will throw a rock for you, basically. But we still have the Ancestral uh, Warriors. The chose me. I mean, why wouldn't we fight here? So, Nobblers, what we're going to do is we're going to put... They have no range, so I'm going to put them here. Put them behind, because they don't have enough mass to hold the big guys to eke through. And then they will... Oh, not enough space. There we go. And then... I'm gonna back them up here, and then in case there's a flank, anti-large there. You stand here, and we're good to go. Watch them come. Watch our arrows do our thing. We're gonna try to occupy that uh, man-eater with our summon. Crossbow, fire. Right behind them, give them some, maybe force them to turn around, that'd be great. If not, we flank them. Man eater, man eater, man eater. That's a slow summon, we should summon a little bit farther up next time. No mind to shop a tusk. Ready? The Nobbler's ready gone. Defenders of Cafe. Celestial Go after Go. that man-eater. Alright. Move, move up. For the At once. Fight them off. Anti-large, let's go. Pull him back. Reset these so they're not so in the way. Uh, just maintain the line. He'll bounce back. And plus, we're going to expire soon. Alright, he peeled off. So we have our anti-large all on top of him. Actually, we probably shouldn't have moved these. That's fine, because they, they moved up, right? So they can be our new line. Wow, he's just, just pushing us around. Move away. Just move away. Move away. Move away. Debuffing us. Anti-large, get him. Repositioning. I will claim it. Never conquered. Hurry up and route everyone for good, so we don't have to actually. All right, stay with them for the buff. Peasant archers, marching as one. All right, well, just just hit him. I am prepared. Oh my God, we're dying here. Okay, just route. Yeah, route off. That's that's actually better for us. 
No, he's getting stuck. Poke him. Poke him. Wait, why did we... We're not in slow-mo. He's in slow-mo. Why, why is he so slow? He's trying to go somewhere, but we're just poking him. And he just doesn't care. Alright, finally we got him. Good job. Almost died there. I hope we get a big replenishment number. Last time we got like 40%. Hopefully something similar here. Because I think usually most Nobblers route, and then it's like each unit remaining is a captive, and then we get a huge number for the replenishment. I hope that's still the case. Uh, I mean, it's still decent. I actually think he full healed. Ooh. Oh, in Blood Peak. Okay, that's not currently our problem. But it might become a problem. Wait, where is this armor? I don't see it. Is he in the camp? It's not his camp. Eh, decent. Basically, those Ogre Kingdom are the ones that come out and ambush us. Okay, they didn't go for the fight, so that's good. Naturally. They're right in front of us, which is annoying, but the storm dragon. Maybe we just don't care. We go for the save. We don't want to lose any towns. This is no threat. I forbid all hesitation. Move as one. We will endure. No reinforcements? What? This is ill advised. The Emperor. We have to move like daughter. into his circle. The storm like, that should bring us up. There we go. Guess we have to be physically in hit, around his circle to be considered reinforcements. Alright, we're fine now. He could turn around and attack this, but if he does, we're still neutral, which is why we always chose this decision. And then we can also retake it. Defend. All right, let's see. We gotta consider all the buildings separately. There's a slot here, one empty slot. We definitely want this going. So one empty slot. Two empty slot. All the up uh, upgrades we'll take. All these are good. Two empty slot. So basically two empty slots. Okay, one in, one young. Preferably, uh, this has to be young because this one's ready and we only want this one. That means we built in here and we should be solid. We use the population. None of these buildings are unique here. Right, there's no more special buildings for Maya Nanya and Nani. Nani we just rescued. What would we build? Probably a military building, because we don't have one in Nanga, the gunpowder road. Like we could build this as well. And technically Nanyang's safer, I would argue. We could also build defensive buildings for more garrison. Or Sky Lantern for reduce corruption, remove the chance for traits, discovery under cities from Skavens, reduce plague spreading. Like we built two of these, I think it stacks in the same uh, province. And then like we just don't pick up plague, which is a blessing actually, if we eventually meet Kugoth. We'll see. I, I need a military building, so I think we, we built one for sure. And then we'll worry about what goes to the other place later. The Lord Magistrate You're not going to need to move. Eventually we'll use him to build a unit and an army here, but just not now. Speed and unity win the day. I'll take it. On guard. 
our caravan, who almost got beat up. Um, I'm glad you survived, but I think... I don't mind the cost. I think we take the better cargo situation. An upper hand, indeed. <laughs> Good luck to you. Moving through some dangerous territories Our ancient here. ancient empire has not survived until now without friends. Imperial Wardens, what do you want? Join the war against the Skaven clan that we don't know of. They're paying us money. Uh, no. No thanks. With the way AI tunnel visions. Yeah, he is in some dangerous land. But this is interesting. This is not... Ooh. This is very interesting. As the caravan comes to a halt for the night, a stranger wanders into the ad hoc camp. Stopped by the guards, he begs an audience with the caravan master. He offers... His offer is to join the retinue for no pay. There is safety in numbers, but he will help protect the caravan. So we're getting a stranger to join us. And this stranger is a noble... I believe Elv it's a it's a hero, but uh, Elvin. I mean, we're definitely using him. Wait, is he human or elf? Oh, we got hit. We got hit with a plague, a Nurgle corruption plague. Not too bad. Right, plus five corruption, we counter that with our faction mechanic. Raise additional army. Does Drugodan not count? Technically, that's a second force. It's an elven hero, right? If I remember correctly. Yes, high elf. Or sorry, yeah. It's been very long since I had time to play Warhammer 2. Since Three Kingdoms, 2,000 plus hours. Uh, but yeah, it's an elf. We got charge defense against large foes, anti-large, armor piercing, armored. We should have some nice abilities as well. Resiliency from attrition. Dragon. Oh, he's immune from dragon burst worth. Oh, oh, wrath. Okay, that's good. Uh, charge defense against large. Encourage martial power. Or prowess. If hit points above 50. Wounds. I mean, it's nice to have a hero in the army. We appreciate him joining us. Uh, he will stay forever, right? In future trips, everything. So this is a great addition. I think our army failed. Whoever left, I don't see them anymore. They didn't take this down. And uh, we have another incoming army. Alright, we're on the third tier. I feel like this. there can be two approaches here. We don't build anything. Because none of these are that important to us. I, I don't think they're that important. And we wait for the Celestial Barrack. And then we end up picking a Celestial Dragon Crossbowman, which should be our sort of go-to unit for Miao Ying's army, just because she get that 50% discount for missile infantry. So these would be like extra cheap for her, relatively speaking, and they're really good. Armor piercing damage, decent range, and uh, good combat stats as well. They're not terrible in combat, let's just say that. Not as good as... Eh, they're close. I, I think they're respectable, so that's fine. Like, we wait for this, we get to recruit that, we build one of these, and then we use it as a recruitment center. It's either, either this one or the cavalry station. Get Loma here. Hmm... Maybe we save this for Nangao and we get the Loma here. Also a cheaper building chain as well, like way cheaper. I really like this. It's a lot of money though. Yeah, we're, we're starting to feel the economic development cost. That's the retreating army. We have a full stack again. We're close to it. I will make my father proud. We cannot chase any of their army down. This is kind of awkward because they could just turn around and siege Nani again. But I still think we, we can take an ambush approach. 
13. No, we can't. We can't ambush close enough to rescue the town. So we have to, like, step into it. Hmm. And hope we have enough movement to catch them next turn. But that's the thing. We can't catch them right now. Erect unbreakable well, our brother has done nothing to retake Shanyang. So we're back to expanding into the south, because the north has been pretty safe now. All right, that's a fine upgrade. That's what, that's the stuff we like to get to upgrade. There is a special building for the fur. I, I would love this. That's good. We have one empty slot. We prefer things in pairs. So that's actually going to wait. It's going to be an in-building. Oh, we can actually build... No, oh, it's going to be an in-building because this... It's going to be... A, I mean young building because there's an in one coming out next turn. So we wait one turn, build a young building next turn. That finishes and will be solid. Yeah, I think that's that's the plan. We keep that empty for now. The Lord Magistrate Gwinnon doesn't move. Ready. And we just quickly check diplomacy. Natural it's getting there. The celestial Our brother Black. has finally That's seen the light. <gasps> we can confederate one. Okay, I don't know if this is good or not. They have two settlements, which is weird. They're at war with factions we have not discovered, which is also concerning. Like, they don't... They're very far away from us, right? Maybe I just don't confederate them, because we also pick up their general. And it's not like our... our this this is the Burning Wind Nomads is the faction name, eventually, I think, for uh, Lee Dahl's faction, if he does get created, like if he comes as a playable lord then he will be leading this faction. This is the Southern Force. But he's not in the game right now. So I'm getting a Shugengun, a Dragon Blooded, plus whatever other army they have. Like, certainly there's medical plant and a medicinal plant and uh, timber. Like, these, these are fun settlements. But I don't think it's actually a good deal for us. So I don't think we eagerly jump at that. It's gonna be really hard to convince the Celestial Loyalists to to join us now, isn't it? They're they're huge. Yeah, I don't think we're not taking that deal, but we're gonna take other deals, right? I, I don't mind getting a defensive deal with them, especially if they can pay me a little bit of cash on top of that. Maybe more than a little. Oh, I was suspecting 160 would be the peak. Oh, I guess 165 was just slightly too much. 163. Solid. The ancestor. Ah, uh, they just so eagerly want to join us. Fire and One day our our brother will say the, the same. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna get deals with everyone. In most places. A warm welcome in most places. What are you suggesting, little brother? Close. See how much extra we can squeeze out of you. Hmm. Celestial ancestors. Ah, really want this trade deal. The master of the celestial winds. Skull takers. What a name. Doesn't doesn't sound scary actually. Sounds like one of those like rebel spawns. That's negative point two. We might as well get that. Okay, good. I was about to say four 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 would be a very unlucky number. Sounds like death, death, death in Chinese. Okay, let's let's try this. Okay, am I asking for too much here? Or are we just like super close? Oh, that that's it. That's it. Sure, we'll go to war. Is we should gain some vision, because I have no idea where that faction is. Where are they? I imagine they're like here or something. My 
My privilege. That's their capital, isn't it? They're down to just a gate. How sad. Anyhow, um, no. And let's go. What are you going to do to me? The Siege back net. She, she's going to ask for the Confederation. No. Oh, against the... They're very... I know they're one settlement town here. They're not strong. This payment is kind of acceptable. Kind of. I am going south. It's going the same way as we're expanding, so I don't really mind that. They offer 600. I think I can get 700 at least from them. Okay, I lied. 69? It's 69 something. Ah. Speaking of 69, actually, did you know there are 69 technologies for Grand Cafe? Long live and the reason why there's 69 is because if you write them down, it looks like the yin yang symbol. Alright, they split their force. Uh, we got another encounter with Lost Patrol. The caravan stumbled upon a patrol of allies that have been lost for some time. The guide can show them a way back to friendly regions, although this will cause a short delay in getting the caravan to its destination. Ooh, it's Kislev! Originally sent to hunt down your enemies, they are now ready to restock on ammunition and head into battle. Or we can pick up forgotten fighters. We want the Stratzi. Yeah, we can get peasant lost spearmen all day. So we picked up two Stratzis to join us. That's awesome. They split their force. They kept no one fight. here and they moved one back. That fail. unit is on March. I can't reach him, but he's like last time he fought this, he siege. So I think he won't actually go for it, which means I have time to just take this out first. The majestic defender. Come on, I can catch him, I can catch him. Yes, I can catch him. This will actually delegate. I think this is our first delegate all game. We can put the banner on a unit we want to get the seven point of leadership. Why don't you take it for this battle? And uh, auto resolve? He also has access to, because he's a cafe army. He can bomb us. Okay, we're just gonna auto resolve this. You face a dragon of cafe. Wow, we actually lost a lot of men. That's fine. We must break this. The celestial meow. Uh I want to encourage him to fight me if he wants. Ride I'm down for it. Me. We're on our own territory. Warden of the Great Bastion. I'll take one more. None. They refuse my call. We got an item. Wonderful. Um, actually, are we getting sieged? Because if we are, I Come can use that as a save point. Seating. No, but they're coming. And the threat's actually going up pretty high. So we're about to see a big wave. I'm curious if I should recruit Fiddy, more on. units and give Your him an army. Because we do have the money now. And we actually also have the discount going soon. 40% cavalry options. Well, think about it. We're building up quite a bit of funding as well. We're building the units, uh, the buildings correctly. Um, we're going to end our episode here, although I think we've got to redo that little move afterwards next time. That's fine. Uh, our goal is to hunt down this force and take uh, the entirety of the Warpstone Desert, fight the Etchen clan over here. Etchen clan. I don't know if they still hold um, Sinwu. They still hold Sinwu. What is my brother doing? He has one he has one piece of land. Is that all he has? Or did he expand west? I don't think he expanded west. These are not exactly suitable territory for us. So our brother's just not doing anything. Which is great, because if we're super strong, he's super weak, we can confederate him. So I guess we're going south for a little bit, hoping Drugan can hold. We might give him a scrappy army for now. We'll see. But first we gotta take care of this. No grab Shangya. Grab Tower of Shar. And then go from here. So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!